things? What things? What are you talking about, Joaquin? Whether it's in schools, universities, dance groups, or community-run organizations, these things keep us moving, busy, and on the go. We all understand the commitment and bless us for taking it on, but the stress and heartache that sometimes comes along in being a part of a Phil M org is, well, let's not get into that thing. From my experience in being a part of PACE at SFSU, people are turned off by that commitment and know the dedication members of PACE go through, leading them to not join that thing. But back in after 40 years of service to the SF community, PACE continues to bring in people to do that thing. Take for instance, Bucket Y. This site was created by folks who felt that there needed to be a change, some sort of representation on the internet for Phil and folks like yourselves to come and get connected. A grassroots site that was just started by a couple of folks and now have expanded the network of the Bucket Y team to 40 plus folks in the span of several weeks. This thing that has driven us to post, video vlog, outreach, this thing that all of us have in common. The pride of our culture and the knowledge that we continue to expose here at Bakwet Y. Again, in my experience at SFSU, the Filipinos on our campus are the most dedicated, self-determined, and most disciplined students that I have ever encountered. Without a doubt, descendants of the Third World Liberation Front, orgs such as PACE, LFS, Kappa Psi Epsilon, Expo, Manalo Movement, PEP, AAS 363, AAS 355, have this thing, this sort of responsibility, if you will, at SFSU to uphold. A responsibility that we all gladly take, despite all the responsibilities that come along with it. And if you're watching this, you probably know what I'm kind of talking about because you're probably part of this thing in your own community, whether it's a simple dance group or the fight for full equity. In my opinion, we get into things, these things, because as Filipino Americans, we can all find some collective struggle in common, some misrepresentation in society that we feel we need to correct and right. And most definitely, a voice to be heard for the world to pay attention to. It's about educating people, our youth, so that they can better understand what it means to be Filipino, Filipino Americans. It's about the resources and keeping posted about what's going on back home. We as Filipinos, Filipino Americans have this drive, this self-determination to make it in the world and we ain't gonna have anybody tell us otherwise. We seek to gain a better understanding about ourselves, who we are, and where we came from through a shared identity in which we find other Filipinos like us. Because this shared identity was lost and was never written in our history books until now. So if you're still asking, Bucket, why do we get into these things? Plain and simple. Because we as Filipinos like this thing that we do. So we can bring others like you who are watching this to gain a better understanding about this thing we all have in common. We come together for that thing which we pride ourselves. We are a beautiful brown America. Mabuhay. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Check out buckety.com.